Hi Jill, have you seen? We started to do an alphabet with Foucault. We pick a letter standing for an important concept in his work and ask him then to explain what it means. Yeah, I saw it. Uh, some of it. I did a similar thing for French television in the late uh, 1980s together uh, with uh, Claire Parnay. I admit that was one of our models. I also did some other alphabets. Uh, for example, the index of main concepts in Spinoza and the dictionary of the main characters in Nietzsche. Uh, in addition, I wrote a fragmentary alphabet uh, covering my criticism of Foucault's work. You explicitly criticized Foucault? Oh yeah, sure. Uh, must have been in 1977 or 78, after he had published the first volume of his uh, History of uh, Sexuality. Uh, the alphabet's title was Desire and Pleasure, uh, but it went only from uh, A to H. Uh, without referring to corresponding concepts, however. It was not even meant for publication. I see. But anyway, could you say more about the role of criticism in your philosophy? It is often said that your philosophy is very different from critical theory and far from being a kind of critical philosophy. People claim that you are a philosopher of affirmation, joy and effect, advocating a kind of positive thinking that is smoothly combining with contemporary ideologies of neoliberal capitalism, you know, networks, intensities, uh, creativity. Wow. This is disgusting. Terrible. I don't get it. I absolutely don't understand. It seems that people have stopped reading and just claim whatever they want. Let me recall a very simple fact. There are three philosophers that were crucial, if not decisive, for shaping my own thought. And all of them were critical philosophers par excellence. First, it goes without saying, Immanuel Kant, the author of three famous critiques. Then, Karl Marx, who under the title of Capital wrote a path-breaking critique of political economy. And, finally, Friedrich Nietzsche, who elaborated, and I quote myself, the greatest critique ever directed against the image of thought and its relation to the state. Okay, okay. But we all know that you did not simply follow these philosophers. You also used them in the manner of a ventriloquist or a puppeteer. At any rate, they say things that eventually are not their own, but rather yours. Well, that's sort of true. And I confess that in my book on Foucault, I used a similar strategy. Uh, but this doesn't change anything about the fact that my philosophy is deeply critical. It is simply inadequate to claim that I'm overly accentuating the positive and not covering or reflecting the negative. There is in fact something like a dark Deleuze and I'm proud of it. Just look what I wrote with Felix Guattari about psychoanalysis. It is not by accident that our book is titled anti Oedipus, since it is clearly directed against something, namely the psychoanalytic ideology of the unconscious. Or uh, reread what I 
said in the late 1970s when I criticized the so-called new philosophers. Um, it was the first, but no me, by no means the last time I attacked this terrible mixture between journalism and literature and the parallel fusion of intellectual marketing and philosophical discourse. Ah. Then finally, some years later, uh, there are my observations concerning the advent of the societies of control, where I analyze the devastating consequences of entrepreneurial ideologies and the horrible increase of surveillance options in digital technologies. I know, I know. And still, all of this does not really alter my impression that your form or your practice of criticism remains somewhat indirect. For example, in your alphabet on TV, you speak out personally and directly, and I like that quite a bit. But what you are saying in your books, for example, about capitalism and today's society, appears to depend very much on your collaboration with Guattari, that is, the presence of a partner or a double. Similar in your books on Kant, Nietzsche and Foucault, where you also require a kind of double, while all explicit um, criticism tends to disappear in your art as ventriloquist in a kind of dramatization or theatrum philosophicum, as Foucault would put it. Mm. Could be that you have a point there. Uh, perhaps I don't need a kind of theater for my criticism. But uh, please keep in mind, I'm saying this as a puppet, as a double of myself. And from this angle, all of this tends to be your problem and not mine. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what you mean, but I'll think about it. Go ahead and uh, think critically. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.